Hey guys, I was thinking that I would make a tutorial video for you. I know I've talked about it before, like in comments and stuff, how I organize my custom content from the beginning of downloading it to naming it to even merging it. So I haven't done it in a while and I figured I'd just show you while I do it and how I do it. So I've downloaded some stuff already. So I'm going to go to my downloads and usually I just pull everything out onto the desktop like this. Sometimes they're going to be package files, sometimes they're going to be zips or raw files, whatever they were saved as by the creators, wherever you get them from. Alright, and from here you can scan them if you want to, if you have a virus detection scanning program or whatever, but usually I download from pretty trusted places, so it's usually not a problem. So you want to find out which ones are package files and which ones need unpacking, unzipping. So these are all package files, and then these ones need to be unzipped. So I'm going to extract here. And I'm going to include all the programs that you see me using in the description of the video if you want them. Alright, so they're all open. Usually I delete these because you don't need them once you open them and they're all over there. Now, I go to my documents, Sims 4 mods, and right now this is what I have. I have two separate folders. I have one that's not merged, which is in here right now, and then I have another one over on the other side, which is merged files. For me personally, when I'm building and decorating, I have a lot of custom content in here, but this just helps as far as like if something needs to be updated or not. I always suggest doing this. I have two separate folders. It might be a pain in the butt for you, but if you do like I do and it helps me a lot, then I would suggest you do it too. So what I do is I would take these ones, which are their individual files, like if you open it, it has all the individual package files in it. And then I've made the same name in the merge folder of these items after I've merged them. And you see 20 items is what's going to load up when you go to play the game versus how many ever is in here are all together. So it really helps as far as lag goes and stuff like that. So I'm definitely suggest doing that. I'm going to show you how to do that too. Alright, so this is what we have in there so far. I have my not merged, which is all my custom content that I have separated into folders. And then I usually suggest opening, making a new folder with, um, you could name it new. I've seen people name it test. I just name it whatever the current month is. So September right now is just an empty folder. And then that's where I'm going to put my new package files that I just downloaded. I'm going to put them in here. And they come in folders like this. Sometimes they come with a picture of items. I don't keep those. Just drag and drop. As you can tell, I visited Leo Sims earlier. <laughs> That's where most of this new content is from. See, that's a picture. They're all in your new folder. And then what I would do is open bulk rename. And I've shown this before. Um, I have a how to video on that on my channel if you want to look at it. But it's basically the same thing. I do this every time. 
I just replace the space with nothing. And then over here I click DS and System. Now I'm going to find my September folder right here. And then I'm going to go Action, Select All. And then in the green it'll show you what it's going to rename it to. And see that's it's taken out the periods, it's taken out spaces, it's taken out dashes, all that stuff that you don't need that will slow you game down. So I'm going to rename it. And that's all you need that program for. You can check it. They look good. Alright, then I would open my mod concrete detector. Because we're going to check and see if there are any duplicates in here. Again, that can make your game slow down. You don't want that. It could even crash your game, to be honest. Um, so you don't want that either. Or if there's anything that you've downloaded that's for a different Sims game, like Sims 2 or Sims 3, you don't want that in there. I'm going to leave a link for this also at the bottom. I know a lot of people were looking for the original one. This is the older version that I still use. I do have the updated version, but again, I have a, a video on that and I didn't really like it, so I used this one. And Dimitri, the creator of it, the site is down. I know a lot of people have been asking about that, and I've checked, and it's down for me too. So I rehosted this folder in a ROAR file on Sim File Share, and I have the link put up in the video that I made about it. So if you're looking for that, hopefully he'll get his site back up soon, and I can re I can unhost it and direct people to his actual site where it's at. But I feel like it's such a vital program for people who use The Sims, and I know I use it a lot, so. And this takes a few minutes to open. Once the program opens, this is what you're going to see, and you're going to select your mods folder, and then this is what I do. I click full, search for conflicts, search, find duplicates, and then I'll scan. And again, this takes a while. And you want your new or test, or if you named it by the month like I did, you want that folder in your mods folder along with your other custom content that you've downloaded. Unmerged. That way you can spot if you've downloaded something and you already have it, it's a duplicate. That way this can detect it. If you don't do that, and it's a an emerged package file. Like if I try to scan my merged folder instead of my unmerged folder, I'll probably get them all highlighted, to be honest. Because it's not going to be able to pick up individually which items that you have that's a duplicate or that's messed up or whatever the case is. Here's done scanning. I usually hit complex to bring all the stuff up like that. Yeah. So it's showing me I do have duplicates of the stream lights. I must have downloaded it already before and didn't realize it. You're going to scroll over to the side and it's going to show you where these duplicates are at. And this is where that folder comes in handy because if it's something you've recently downloaded, then you know that's where you want to go to get rid of it. So I'll go to show in folder, and it's going to bring it up in the new folder, and it's going to highlight it for you, and then I just delete it because I don't want it twice. And again, the same thing, here's another one. And this, this is what just comes in handy because, I mean, if you download a lot of custom content, you're bound to download the same thing eventually, so. And all these are game modifiers, which, to be honest, they don't mess up my game. So I just leave them in there. Mostly I just do this for duplicates. Alright, so. Then I would just close that program. And 
there you go. You can open your game now and test it and make sure that all the custom content you just downloaded works properly. You definitely want to do that step before you decide to merge anything if you want to merge. You don't have to, but I feel like if you have thousands and thousands of custom content, it, it comes in handy. Especially if you're just going to be building and not actually playing the game like I do. That way your game opens faster and you can just build and when it comes time to finding the items to list them, the items that you used, you can use um, Sims 4 Tray Importer, which I'll put the link down in the description for that as well. I'm not going to be showing you that right now. That's That has to do with like the process of creating stuff and uploading it and trying to find the individual uh, package files, custom content that you used. So, now at this point, if you wanted to, <clears throat> you could go back to your folder, September folder, test folder, whatever you named it, and then you can open Sims 4 Studio. I did make a, a mention down below in the description with the link that you have to register. It's free registration in order to download this and then you can use it. And you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this. They have to update it all the time. But usually what I use it for is merging. So you go to tools and then merge packages. And this comes up. And then you go to add. And then you want to find the place that you want to grab the mods from, which would be here. And then highlight all that. But, you know, keep in mind the stuff you've already checked and made sure there's no duplicates, there's nothing wrong with the custom content that you already downloaded, and that it actually shows up in your game. So you hit open, and then you hit merge. And you can add as many files as you want to this. Uh, I know some people suggest only like a couple hundred at a time, but I've done a couple thousand at a time. It takes longer for it to compress down into a merged uh, package file, but it works if your custom content works. So then from here you would name it whatever you wanted to. I would name it September Merged, and then I hit Save, and then it's going to go. And it wasn't that much stuff, so it saved pretty quick, 25 things. See, I wouldn't suggest merging something that's only 25 packages, but you can if you want. I just wanted to show you how to do it. And there you go. From here, what I would do is I would drag it out of there. So this is the unmerged version here. And then over in the merged folder, I would then put September Merged. And then you can keep adding to this if you wanted to, which is what I do. I'll, whenever I download new stuff, I'm sure it'll be this month sometime. Then I'll drag those new things over into the other folder. And then I'll take this out of my merge folder. I'll make a new September merge folder, uh, package file, excuse me. And then I'll just keep adding to it until it's next month. And that's how I've been keeping track of it and it's been working good for me. As you can see, I have a couple of random things in here. They aren't all named perfectly or perfectly organized, but again, it works for me. You can always go back. That's the great thing about having a merged folder and then unmerged folder. That way you can remerge things in your unmerged folder. You can search and see if there are new updates for those mods that you have. Also, I want to remind you, never merge game-changing mods like MC uh, Command Center or Wicked Whims or anything that that actually changes the script of the game. Don't merge those because they're not going to work for one. And two, you're not going to be able to update them. And they usually get updated pretty regularly because every update that the game does for the actual Sims game through EA 
changes different components in the game and that's why creators have to update their mods to work with it because they'll break so I hope this helps like I said this is what I do this is the steps that I take every time I download like a bulk amount of custom content just to make sure that it works in my game the game is fine it doesn't crash or anything like that so happy simming and like I said I hope this helps you